Hey, good evening. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Hi, Silver in here. I want to wish everybody uh, a wonderful evening. Those on Instagram land, those are on those are on Facebook, Instagram. Good evening. Good evening. Hey, Bianca, Laurelette Hudson. Hope you're well. wait for more people to come on tell you it's it's uh, today it was a, a a very lovely lovely sunshine outside there today hope you guys love the sunshine which was in the uk mike how are you doing buddy um let me if you can hear me very clearly and uh let me see if i can do something here yeah yeah ah that's better let me Shout me out if you can hear me clearly, and um, the mic is well. Enjoying the music as well. Every day there's a, a new development. Every day there's new news. Every day there's, there's new things happening, and uh, and every day that I try to create something different as well, which is very powerful. Um, today I think one of the breaking news. Um, when I decided what, what show I was going to do tonight, the breaking news is Bill Cosby. I don't know many of you actually watch the Cosby show. I used to love watching the Cosby show back home in Jamaica. Um, everybody loved the Cosby show. It's like part of one's heritage, if I can say. And, you know, I don't know what you guys think about the Cosby Show. Is your mind change about the Cosby Show? There was this American family, which was the the epitome of the the, the black family, has somewhat been marred. But has it been marred because um, because Bill Cosby has been found guilty? Three counts of aggravated indecent assault and that was today for jogging and sexually assaulting Andrea Constant at his home in Philadelphia suburb in 2004 right Bill Cosby has been found guilty some people say it's a it's a conspiracy some people say this is a uh, a sort of attack on him because of his plans to actually buy NBC that was what some said but Bill Cosby guilty on all three counts in indecent assault trial Bill Cosby what do you guys think about that It'd be good to hear what you think about this whether he is an icon of the Cosby show but the most important thing is this. I've been talking about um, assault on women. I've been talking about assault in respect of um, pedophilia and all those sort of things. Um, should one be given any bly because of, you know, love to hear what you love to hear what you say. Love to hear your views as much as possible. But that's not my topic tonight. Uh, we, we're still noticing the wind rush. Amber Rudd, how long will she survive? One of the things sometimes in politics is this. And as I said, I think it's very important that people get into politics. But one of the important things in politics at times is that in politics, um, when a minister is under pressure to resign, see Diana Butt calling for Amber Rudd to resign, 
um, General Corbyn asking for the Amber Road to resign. Many people say it's honourable to resign in a situation like this. The Prime Minister, and I can't recall if the Prime Minister is saying, I have full confidence in the Home Secretary. I know that the House rallied behind her and said they have full confidence in her. But I have not heard if the Prime Minister says, I've got confidence in my Home Secretary. What that says sometimes is that something is up. Right now, she's functioning as the Home Secretary. But tomorrow, you may hear that she's gone. And why is this? This is normally because, guess what? Too much focus is on one person and it is distracting from the work of the government. So as a result of that, normally that person goes. Whether or not she goes, do I have a view? I may reserve my views for now, but let's watch your space as much as that. The, uh, another thing which, 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 which was in the news as well, and this is it. Arsene Wenger. And I'm not a football fan or anything like that. But Arsene Wenger is going to go. And those who are in, 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 um, in the heights of football. Um, they may be interested in that. If anything. I think that was a big thing. If, if anything like that. But my topic today really is simply about. Kanye West. Freedom of expression. Candice Owens. And... Um, and I've shifted a bit over to the States, you know, shifted a bit over the States and to actually tap into America. Trump is coming soon, yes. President Trump to visit the UK in July. And I believe they're saying they're gonna be a mother, mother of all demonstrations, ladies and gentlemen. Mother of all demonstrations. Right? But is that but is that necessary really? You can see the love affair which is happening with Trump and France. You can see Trump is going across the world and actually um, alliances. Kim Jong-un, the plan to meet Kim Jong-un as well as possible. Is Trump a peacemaker? Is he an opportunist? Should the UK be going out there demonstrating for the President of the United States of America? Right? Trump is to visit the UK on Friday the 13th. Friday the 13th? Can you imagine? Friday the 13th? That's when he's going to visit. Friday the 13th. Yeah? After previously cancelling a trip amidst claims you'd face mass protests. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Silver and Sidil. On the late one, welcome, welcome. My topic today is about Kanye West, Candace Owens, and the freedom of expression. Is it by or appreciated? when you agree or not welcome welcome please share this video as well and let's get down to business one of the things ladies and gentlemen that i always speak about a lot and this is me that i always speak about a lot i always speak about the unapologetic voice I always speak about the right for someone to be able to speak their mind, to speak their views, and and their right to do that. The right to do that is somewhat enshrined in this constitution of life. Let's say this constitution of life. Let's not say the British constitution, which is an unwritten constitution. Let's say the, the United States constitution is not the United States constitution. Let's say the Jamaican constitution. There's the freedom of expression which is something intrinsically built in someone and it's, I call it the constitution of life. The question I put to you is this, do you believe in freedom of expression? Is it the right for everyone to have that freedom of expression? Right? What, what, what is happening and what I've seen also and, and what someone has said is that the lack of tolerance in diverse views, the lack of tolerance in persons speaking um, their mind and speaking their mind and speaking their thought process without being cowed down or without being um, ridiculed or without being attacked. Now, I'm not talking about um, 
persons who are uh, homophobic um, things. I'm not talking about persons who are of a certain nature which may want to incite racial hatred, religious hatred. No, I'm not talking that. I'm talking about simple speaking their views. See, see, Kanye West came out out of where? Wherever Kanye West is, nobody knows, right? Since the last time he was seen with Trump at Trump Tower, just before Donald Trump became the the president of America, and he he put a tweet a tweet out saying, "I agree or I like what Candace Owens is saying." Who is Candace Owens, right? Who is Kanye West, right? Many people know of Kanye West, of what Kanye West is about. Lyrical, genius, artistic, very controversial. One of those persons that you say speak with an apologetic voice. One of those persons who speak their mind. You see, I always say this at many times, that sometimes, why young people at times tend to look up to persons like the, the P. Diddy, the Jay-Z, the, the Kanye West, is because these persons tend to speak with an authority because it could be argued it could be argued that because of their wealth or because of the fact that they have this clout economic clout they can speak their mind and speak it freely without worried about what people think another person will say well they don't really have that clout because the the music companies or whatever that they are part of they have to tour a particular line some will say like in regards to um you know, say say like Donald Trump. Uh, Donald Trump is um, speak his mind freely. Why? Because he also has money. He has wealth. So therefore, he's not a politician. So he can speak very freely. There is a dynamics with all of these persons to a certain extent. There's a dynamics whereby one, they are right leaning. They are conservative leaning. And also, they believe very fondly and very frankly involved in the freedom of expression. And they use the word independent thinking, the independent voice. I use that word sometimes, independently speaking. That my thought process is my thought process, which is not maybe aligned with other thought processes. So just because it's not aligned with other thought process, that doesn't mean to say it should be negated. It mean to say that it should be um, dismissed because everyone has a view. But why is this controversy? Why is this controversy? And who is this Candace Owens? Who is this Candace Owens? Well, I know of this Candace Owens for a while. Um, you, you're having in the United States, you're having the rise of various voices, various voices which is rise. Who is Candace Owens? That was a question which they say on everyone's mind after Kanye West shared his admiration for the black conservative YouTube personality during a tweeting spree on Saturday. He said, I love the way Candace Owen thinks, he tweeted. I love the way she tweets. The controversial figure many call the next Tommy Lauren is the creator of the Red Black Pill YouTube channel, where she espouses views that push back on many on the political and ideological beliefs of black America. Owen was excited about the Candace shout out, saying that she hoped to work with him one day. But what is it about Candace Owens and what is it about Kanye West? Many people are saying Kanye West has this mental state, right? Many people are saying he's mad. But really and truly, if, if Mr. West had said this, I support anything which is not of Trump. I support Hillary Clinton, which he does. I, I am annoyed by Donald Trump. I, I despise Candace Owens. Trust me, the news media would not actually be saying, or John Legend would be saying anything is wrong with Kanye West. They will say he's finally seen the light. I kid you not. I dare you not. They will say he has finally seen the night. Not the night, the light. But because he's coming from a different angle and from a different thought process, there's that saying that he's mad, he's crazy, he's mental. 
because he dares to support Donald Trump. I'm seeing many people quietly under the radar in support of Donald Trump. They are not in support of some of his ways, some of his thinkings and some of his um, mannerism. But what they like is the fact that, and this is a key thing that they like, he speaks his mind and, uh, and he doesn't care. All right? That can be an indictment to a certain way, but he speaks his mind and he doesn't care. Many people cannot handle that when persons speak their mind freely. Now, this lady, which is Candice Owens, she said she's freaking out because Candice Owens uh, mentioned her. And, that, and here are five things to know about this Republican firebrand, which is making waves within America, quote-unquote, conservative America. She called Donald Trump the savior <laughs> you know, um, of the free world. She said, I truly believe that Donald Trump isn't just a leader of the free world, but he's a savior of it all. May God bless America, the last stand for Western civilization. She expressed her admiration for the president in an interview with Breitbart. I love the guy, I love him, because what he represents to me is the death of political correctness. You have no idea how necessary that death is. Let's zero in on the word political correctness, but let us just go for a couple more first, right? She stated as a YouTube blogger, Owens first caught the attention of many last year when she released a viral video declaring that she was a conservative while also criticizing Black Lives Matters and the Charlottesville protests. And at the same time, her channel whose name riffs on the Matrix include videos with titled How to Escape the Democratic Plantation and, and, uh, and Black Panther. She has called Black Lives Matters supporters of victims. Why? She said, I don't know why people Hi, Paulette Love, good night. I don't want people are being oppressed. It's the weirdest thing I've ever heard. She said, black people that are focused on their past and shouting about slavery and black people are focused, that are focused on their futures, right? That's very controversial um, thinking. Very, very, very controversial. And let me see if I can play something here. Um, just bear with me one second um, about what she says here. And you got to just bear with me for a second because if I can get it. Normal conversation. I love that because what I say every single time, and you may have seen me on the news, is that what is happening right now in the black community, you're going to hear it in this room first. There is a, an ideological civil war happening. Black people that are focused on their past and shouting about slavery, and black people that are focused on their futures. Okay, that's that's really what it comes down to. Okay, I can I can guarantee you what you're seeing happening is victim mentality versus victor mentality. That's I promise great, by you, the, way. the I people love that. here that's are going to. I love that. And it, there's no doubt in my mind. I, I can I can tell you right now who is going to be better off when you, when we look 20 years and we look at the faces in this room. Who is going to be better off are the girls that are sitting right here and across this room because they don't have your mentality. Victim mentality is not cool. I don't know why people like being oppressed. It's the weirdest thing I've ever heard. I love oppression. We're oppressed. 400 years of slavery. Jim Crow. Which, by the way, none of you guys lived through. Your grandparents didn't. It's embarrassing that you utilize you utilize. What you're seeing happening today, obviously we have we have some black people that are just shouting in the back. We have some black people that are sitting in the front quietly that are chanting USA and having a normal conversation. I love that because what I say every single time, and you may have seen me on the news, is that what is happening right now in the black community, you're going to hear it in this room first. There is a, an ideological civil war happening. Black people that are focused on their past and shouting about slavery and black people that are focused on their futures, okay? That's, that's really what it comes down to, okay? I can I can guarantee you what you're seeing happening is victim mentality versus victor mentality. And I promise great, you, I the people that. here are going to. I love that. And it, there's no doubt in my mind. I, I can I can tell you right now who is going to be better off when you, when we look 20 years and we look at the faces in this room. Who is going to be better off are the girls that are sitting right here and across this room because they don't have your mentality. Victim mentality is not cool. I don't know why people like being oppressed. It's the weirdest thing I've ever heard. I love oppression. We're oppressed. We're Right. Years of slavery, Jim Crow. Okay, um, that's what she said right there. There's an ideological civil war which is taking place. An ideological civil war which is taking place. This is not one of those topics which is, um, what should I say, uh, sexy. 
right? This is not one of those topics which um, many people want to engage in. But I tend to don't go with the flow. That's one of my mantra based on one of my shows. Don't go with the flow. I strongly believe that sometimes we've got to tackle different things. I've been tackling different topics these last days. I've been questioning why people say ethnic minority. I've been challenging persons to say, why do you accept the term ethnic minority? Why do you accept the fact that you're a minority? Challenging some status quo. Challenging why you're relegated in the, in the backside of a desert in an aisle. Minority. Challenging the status quo. And some of the things what uh, Candice is saying is it, it challenges persons as much as possible. And, and when it challenges, sometimes it's a the truth offense, offend, or a perception offend. Not that persons choose to offend or specifically want to offend, but by virtue of their thought process and their thinking, it will be an offense, right? And the, those who are offended must consider and contemplate and think about why they're offended when somebody's actually speaking their mind and speaking their thought process. Because that's a natural part of the constitution of life where persons have a different thought process, where persons think differently. That is natural. Right. There is an ideological civil war, black civil war, at the same time with ideologies, with persons who, and, and it's more of a political sort of um, thing whereby you've got the left liberal agenda and you've got the right agenda, right? center right or right or whatever like that persons who actually want to move on in the uk at present you there's three key issues which are happening that somewhat uh reflect or link or represent the the black community at this time and there's three key factors not to be dismissed but three key factors three key issues they are important very very important there are three key issues that resonate a lot with black people at this time. Top of the agenda, the wind rush. Right? I've done a program on the wind rush, and I've done also a follow up program on the wind rush with uh, my uh, a solicitor talking about some of the raft of measures that persons can take on board. The second one is the 22nd of April will be the Stephen Lawrence Day. Okay? Memorial Day forever. Okay? Third one is knife crime, which is still going on. If you listen to what, which, what's the statistics today, and the news say knife crime has gone up, in um, I can't specify whether it is just in London or the UK, but knife crime has gone up. Right? Those are some of the key three factors, which somewhat is the the tip of the, the factors that is talked about a lot in regards to black people in this UK. And then at the same time, you say, should you keep on this or should you also at the same time change the narrative or inject into the same narrative the success factors, right? Nobody's talking about the success. Nobody's talking about the lawyers, the doctors and all these different persons who are doing fantastic things because the media tend to confine or constrain or sort of pull people into this particular zone it is deemed at many times that the the left agenda i.e that the labor like the democrats or so tend to like these sort of narratives because it's encouraged and somewhat one is enshrined into this level of victim mentality victim mentality doesn't mean to say that what is deemed as a victim mentality is wrong. The wind rush and the, the way it's been handled is wrong. What happened to Stephen Lawrence and how, what has happened over the years is wrong. What is happening with knife crime and everything like that is wrong. But there's also other factors which are also important. There are also other things which are actually taking the limelight but is not seen because it doesn't fit the narrative. Right? Then you also have um, in the square in this sphere of things persons who are of a different political persuasion i.e black persons of a different political persuasion than the typical those persons are demonized that is why you have the fact now and i link this now with can west and also with candice owens and also with persons who actually 
think a bit differently now, they are demonized because they don't fit the narratives as much as possible. I understand clearly what that is. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the angry hey bro, what has become of the Jamaica US diaspora and the Windrush saga? Dion, I have no idea about that. You've got to speak to those people. You know that I moved on from those sort of things because I don't have the time to waste. <laughs> so you need you are more in contact with those guys, the UK diaspora organization. I tend not to waste too much time now. One of the things that I said recently is that when you reach to a certain point in your life, you don't really waste time. It's important that you don't waste time on certain things. You just sort of go and you keep your flow or you change the flow. You don't follow that flow. You just keep going on. I have no idea. Um, so, so, so this topic tonight, ladies and gentlemen, is, is about freedom of expression or is it only acceptable if you agree? Right? John Legend, I believe at this point, hates Kanye West guts. John Lennon has been very vocal as much as possible in regards to the support for the Democrats and anything opposed, anything to do with the Republican, i.e. Trump. But then can there be um, any sort of uh, positive thing with a, a, a black person being really conservative or being involved in the Republican? That is deemed as the, 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 the epitome of betrayal by a black person. But why is that? Why is that um, something which actually challenges or maybe scare the left-wing liberals? Why is that? I've got to ask a question. Why is that there seem to be that persons i.e. in the black community somewhat believe that they have the authority as to how persons should speak or how they should think you know elizabeth williams good afternoon from new york city hope it's hot oh, is it hot over there is it cold now and stuff like that you know but why is this I believe so much in the liberation of the mind so one can be free, one can actually think, and one can actually be able to actually analyze things from their own perspective. One will have to follow like a sheep. One time I used to say sheeps with an S and my sisters laugh at me. You know? What is this thing about freedom of expression? You know? Freedom of expression unless you agree. And this is something which has been carrying on and this has been going so therefore you've got persons now like candace owens who's rising up and then more of them going to rise up challenging the narrative challenging the whole thing of the jim crow Ch not saying you're saying dismissing it not saying you're dismissing the years of slavery but actually saying that while one recognize that while one understand that one has got to actually be a victim mentality there's got to be this victim mentality at the same time because there's no need for this victim mentality. Why is there a vic Why choose to be a victim? You can accept being a victim. Why choose to be a victim? Now, okay, you get mugged, you get hurt, you get damaged, you get punched up, you get stabbed, you get shot or whatever. Yes, you're a victim. Totally. That is understandable, you're a victim. But some at the same time may have that same experience, but choose not to be a victim. Choose, I will overcome. I will take over. I'll be well. So the, the challenge, therefore, is that thinking and that thought process of this victim mentality. Now, this is not the typical conversation, which many will appreciate and many will like, because one would say one is trying to... to um, to, to move on and to forget and this is not about moving on and to be forget but I call it the black element whereby one actually learn to appreciate the differences in persons where persons have this different thought process one of the things that um, Candice Owen said is the most controversial thing I've ever done was decide to think with my brain instead of my skin tone the most controversial thing I've ever done was to decide to think with my brain instead of my skin tone. You see, one of the things is that, 
And my sort of thinking and my sort of thought process is not typical. I don't flow with the natural thinkings of persons. I don't play ball with just because the typical black person thinks so, that I should think so. And that doesn't mean to say I try to be different, but it's just naturally that my brain is aligned not just to my skin tone if I change the narrative in that particular way. And that is something which many people cannot understand, will not appreciate that because they are confined into this particular zone, confined into this particular category. And they choose to remain there. They choose to stay there. But people are breaking through. People are moving through all those sort of things. Different voices are coming in, changing narratives, breaking down the blocks as much as possible. This is what Candice Owen says again. And I repeat it. The most controversial thing I've ever done was to decide to think with my brain instead of my skin tone. Now, I've seen the many tweets talking about Canoes. I've seen many black people demonizing him, saying he's mad, he's local, he needs to, go, he needs to take his pills. But I kid you not, and I kid you not, if Canoes had said something which in totally opposition to Trump, total opposition to Candace Howens, total opposition to the, the, the typical narrative, no one would say he's, ba he's mad, no one would say he need pills, they would say he's finally well and he's all right now. And that's the hypocrisy of the whole thing, of the day. And one has got to challenge this, and I'm challenging this, right? Because I'm getting calls, I'm getting persons actually quietly under the cover getting fed up of some of these typical narratives, getting fed up of believing that one has got to think a particular way, getting fed up of the fact that we are being perceived a, per a particular way, getting fed up of all the, the typical thinking but wanting to say we need to change the narratives. There are too many successful black people out there which are not being identified, which are not being showcased. And if we watch the media, we follow the media, we follow the left agenda, you'll see that everyone is somewhat in this victim space. I call it a victim space. What is a victim space? It's a space where you feel suppressed, a space where you feel depressed, a place whereby you feel like you can't move on, a place where you feel like others need to pull you through. But then you've got to ask yourself a question, why then are some going through and some not? Is it a different world? Is it a different time space? Are some clones, are some aliens or whatever like that? Why some victors and why some victims? That's a fundamental question that needs to be asked. I trump, or should I say, I, I, I applaud the success of LeBron. I applaud the success of Lewis Hamilton. I applaud the success of eloquent doctors. There's a trauma surgeon which we saw the other day. Those persons are out there doing things. But what we are seeing is we're confined into this particular space this ethnic minority space, this ethnic minority bubble, which need to be broken through, ladies and gentlemen, have to be broken through. Because guess what? If not, every year, every year, we'll have the Stephen Lawrence um, anniversary, challenging the McPherson, saying the world place is still institutional racist. I said to someone the other day, I, they said, the reason why things are like this is because it is not diverse. It is that the government is not diverse. It is that the, um, the, the school system is not diverse. It is that the, the councils is not diverse. It is that the, the, the police is not diverse. And then I ask the question, how do we break the lack of diversity? And the question is by answered simply by persons get involved in the key areas where you said there's no diversity. 
So therefore, in politics and council, get involved inside there. If it is a police, get involved with the police. Infiltrating it, get in there. If it's parliament, get in there. Right? I, I found it very um, concerning, whereby I saw uh, an MP, uh, Kwasi Teng, um, just being rubbish and disrespected by a young guy. Okay, maybe he didn't like what was being said, but there's a, it, it, it is it, it is a situation whereby, and it is it is very rampant in the UK. I mean, America is breaking through with different voices, but in the UK, there's a massive holding back, a massive disrespect of black leaders because they don't speak the same narrative. There's not this element of uh, let's support, right? Let's support. That doesn't mean to say you support the policies, but let's support the principle of having someone there, right? And then what it does then, it actually pushes persons back from wanting to actually get involved with certain things because guess what? The level of disrespect. And this high level of disrespect is prevalent in different way, just like how I saw how Kwasi Teng was actually dealt with, right? And that is clear level of, I would say, totally disrespect. Simple as that. No skin teeth about those, those sort of things. Why don't person... You see, people have got to learn this. And, 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 nobody is, and nobody is actually immune from it. But people have got to learn that we all don't think the same. Right? We all don't think the same. I don't know who here would say that we all think the same. Who says we all think the same? Nobody think the same. But many persons sometimes follow a particular narrative because that makes it seem like that is the best thing. You know? So how do we do that? How do we do that? How do we change these things? How do we change the narrative? Right? Somebody just reminded me a while ago, said the sky is the start. Yes, I agree, Omar. The sky is the start. Definitely is the start. The sky is not the limit. The sky is the start. Changing the game, changing the narrative as much as possible, right? The next, the next thing which is going to come up now is the whole Bill Cosby thing. So I said to myself, "Is this? I'm going to be challenging, as as I always do, challenging the typical narratives. I'm going to do just like what I do on on the red chair, finding persons who are doing fantastic things and to bring them on. I will not follow the typical narratives. I'm not going to be." confined into just keep talking about the issues of the wind rush the the, the stimulants and also the um the knife crime yes there will be because i'm doing these programs whereby i'm having different persons from organizations who are dealing with issues regarding knife crime they will be coming on and talking about what they do but then i'm going to change the game right after by identifying key persons who are doing fantastic things and talking about that, talking about uh, uh, views on Brexit, uh, black persons who voted Brexit, black persons who didn't vote Brexit, black persons who are conservative, black persons who are not conservative and stuff like that, black persons who are lawyers, black persons who are doctors. Let the showcase begin. Let the show begin. Right? Different views. You got that view? I've got that view. You're conservative? Nothing's wrong with that. You're Labour? Nothing's wrong with that. Nothing is wrong with that diversities of view which must be appreciated and be accepted and then you bring it together and then you create the big Wakanda we call it the black element the black element whereby one appreciate the differences appreciate and, and you know what this is this is something which is good when something is pregnant or someone is pregnant they've been impregnated then they swell and they grow and they grow and guess what the other things which used to be a, an issue is not an issue anymore because the focus is on the pregnancy the growth the birth the vision of something new but that only happened because it's become a common denominator so therefore one of the key things that i say 
because we've got to challenge ourselves we've got to challenge our people because if not we're going to be caught in this 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 zone this ethnic minority zone which many people place us in which many people accept i challenge it i say why accept those narratives why accept those things you do not have white south africans white zimbabweans say they are minorities nah even when in america when Arab indians were there in the majority and when the white persons came they said nothing about minority they came to take over it's a mentality a state of being so therefore there's a lot of unlearning process that need to take place you got to start to take, tell your children that they're a majority changing the narrative changing the game moving away from the victim mentally moving away from the childish thinking the childish thought process as I say you are a majority you're at top of the game changing those narratives completely right and this is what I believe some of these these persons are actually saying this is where I believe the can West let's say the can West factor is saying that I don't have to agree right I'm different I think different we all think different we have to appreciate the individualistic nature we have to understand that we all have a different DNA different fingerprint right different retina something like that. that's why people are using retina now you know when you when you when you when you get your iPhone or your Samsung now you can do your fingertips because it's all different so if the natural phenomena of the body is different everything is different from a DNA perspective from a blood perspective all different it's, have, it's like there's a key signature so if there's a key signature on every single person and we're all created unique that means to say our thought process is also unique it's common sense elementary but then we've got to be careful now of persons who are trying to wean their DNA, wean their blueprint, wean their USP upon you for you to think a particular way and go on a particular path. Whereby then you actually become a person who actually disrespect the unique nature of individuals. The unique nature of persons who have a different mindset, a different calling, a different perspective, because everybody has a different calling. Canvas has a different calling. Candice Owens has a different calling. Kulit Dubbins have a different calling. Hugh Barry has a different calling. Persons on this live have a different calling. Everyone is different. The key thing is the level of respect that persons give to each other because of their, their varied views that is powerful don't go with the flow don't just keep following persons Valerie Taylor is different Everton Daly is different Jeanine Lamont is different Ibang Stamar is different June Daly is different I June is different Elizabeth Williams is different everyone is different everyone have this unique thing and that is where one needs to understand and one needs to actually fashion into the design of yourself of who you are and then one will be able to appreciate but do have to accept appreciation is different from acceptance one can appreciate the difference with someone and challenge anyone who try to shut down a different voice for the right that a person to have that voice to speak in whatever way they want than to try to shut it down because it is not that you agree with just because you don't agree with it that's the sort of thinking that's a, that's that's a mindset that's a change that one has got to do have to do it because guess what our children children will grow up in that same vein of being led like sheep to the slaughter whereby the die listen if persons infiltrate into all sectors of society Right? Whether you're white, black, Asian, Jew, well, most of them actually infiltrate in different aspects of society. 
But unfortunately, we, black people, I'm going to say that, we tend to be aligned more to the left. We tend to be more Democrats. We tend to be more Labour. And one of the things um, that, that, that uh, somebody asked about the topic, the topic is, is freedom of expression only appropriate if you agree? That's what the topic is. Is freedom of expression only appropriate if you agree? And then I use the Kanye West factor and the Candace Owen factor. What I'm doing, I'm challenging the narrative, challenging the thinking whereby persons believe that they have to shut someone down because they do not like what they say. I'm saying that's bollocks, right? I'm saying that people should be free to be conservative, feel free to be Republican, black, white, or blue, or green. Persons need to learn to appreciate that. That doesn't mean to say they accept that because we all have different thinking process, right? And, 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 and stop cursing each other, you know? So I've seen the raft. I've seen the, the raft of um, disgust with, with, with Kanye West, with Candace Owens as well. And because of the fact that they they admire Trump. I admire aspects of Trump. Many people admire aspects of Trump. They don't admire every aspect of him. But they admire different aspects of him. For someone to say that again, people will say, are you crazy? You know? But who cares? That's the thing. When it's going to reach the point, who cares? And, and the only way you can say, who cares? is because you have a sense of purpose a sense of identity whereby it doesn't matter what people think someone said to me one time they said do you yeah someone said to me one time Sibron do you think people hate you because of your politics and I said I didn't know people hate me and I said I don't care that's not my call for life my call in life is not to, to worry about who hate me or who don't like me my call to life is um, being myself and be true to who I am. Because when you're true to yourself and uh, respect, somebody said respect is the foundation to freedom of speech. Respect, exactly. Respect is the foundation to freedom of speech. Moral Harris say black people are shut down. You know? See, I, I'm, I'm speaking straight into the world black issues. There's this ideological black civil war which is going on. There is a civil war, there is this fighting game which is going on, which I believe is unnecessary. There is this power. There is this awesome power of the appreciation of the difference. You don't have to accept it. You don't have to accept the, my views. You don't have to accept my politics. You don't have to accept my thinking. But one must respect it and one must appreciate it. But that doesn't mean to say you accept it. I think it's the art of maturity, actually. I believe it's the start of maturity. I believe it's, it's, it's very childish, I believe, to put people down because one don't agree. So therefore, is freedom of expression only appropriate if you agree and that's what many people are saying only appropriate but not, not those words I coin those words because what I'm seeing there is uh, many people just really like to shut people down and if that happens the the, 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 the respect for the black people the respect for a community is always going to be around in a particular circle it goes around in a circle and then you wonder why one is not moving forward because guess what it's like this and this is powerful you've seen a dog chasing its tail when a dog is chasing its tail that dog never move forward because it's always going around 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 so he's not seen forward so when we black people fight each other shut each other down because of the varied views and don't appreciate and respect it we're actually 
grabbing each other's tails because if we are one and we're deemed to be of one then what we're doing we're killing each other and then we're on the stage of life and many people look on and applaud and said they have saved us the work of doing that they are doing it themselves so I'm saying now and my appeal now is saying that one has got to appreciate the differences respect the differences utilize the differences see the success in the differences capitalize on the differences use the differences see differences as a, a positive word yeah yeah you know and as someone said even put differences aside and we build Africa and that would be so powerful right because you know uh, marking you know one, one of the words that I say a lot is I coined this thing and I, I'm creating it bit by bit it's called the black element and and, and, and the black element is a concept which I devised it, it, it's a concept whereby you recognize that people have different views but you zero in on the common element or the common denominator that common denominator is what you rally around it's like that song in Jamaica I think it was Bonnie Whaler or Burning Spear or Cultures rally around the flag rally around the red gold whatever white and green rally around rally around the flag rally around the flag so you rally around the the key and fundamental element which is significant and which is profound and is and then it grows and then it grows and then as that element grows which is the a green factor evening audit then as it grows then it turns into something so powerful that the differences become minute totally minute because one is looking at the bigger picture so I'm all about unifying but in order to unify one has got to tear down all the different distractions all the different blocks all the different disease process that are the blockages for a united force yeah instead of fighting to stay where they <laughs> want us <laughs> that that's 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 uh, someone just said we are fighting to stay where they don't want us <laughs> I've heard that I've heard that I've heard that I've heard that um, but it is one of those discussions that many people will not want to touch many people don't want to touch that subject many people don't want to touch that particular zone because it doesn't fit the narrative of today you know it is concerning and I put it up on a Facebook page even with the wind rush thing I said to myself wow Jamaica must be a very terrible place the Caribbean must be a very terrible place that persons would find it very terrible to go there want to even um, commit suicide it's, it's, it's a sensitive topic it's a sensitive issue but it is something that must be said <clears throat> there are many discussions being said behind doors but would not say it publicly because it doesn't fit the narrative it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't fall in line with the the game who is gonna bell the cat who is gonna bell the cat that's a million dollar question who is gonna bell the cat right so that's that's so 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 so, so that's my actual that's that's my thought that's my thought for today is freedom of expression only appropriate if you agree and I answer to that is freedom of expression is appropriate and it doesn't matter whether you agree or not it's nothing to do with you one just need to learn to appreciate the differences stop 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 this um, stop this ideological black civil war as you know, you know 
the victim mentality versus, versus the victor mentality. Which side are you going to be on? The victor is the one that will free the victims. So you need the victors. Because many people are living in mental victim. The, ment the mentality of a victim. Why are some not in that zone and some are? Is it that there are voices that try to keep them down? Organizations that try to keep them down? Politics that try to keep them down? For the sake of their prominence and their growth and their success? I believe so. I believe so completely, totally. But I'm here to say it's freedom time. It's time to free ourselves. Change these narratives. Change these fighting cultures. Change these minority thinking. Get rid of these ethnic minority terms and stuff like that. Change it. Why? Why accept it? I don't accept it. Yeah, it fits in a certain narrative. But you don't have to accept it. You don't have to accept anything, ladies and gentlemen. Trust me. And I kid you not. You do not have to accept anything. Any narrative which is not of your thinking not of your your thought process and um that's it you know? so so ladies and gentlemen i want to thank you so much for joining and uh good one hour talking about this this particular topic and 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 and, and i commit myself to make sure that we we, we change the narrative, we change the game, we change the process. We don't follow with what confines us, but we move with what liberates us and what frees us. And that's a mind which is free. Free. Mind and a voice that speaks, that deals with the disease process, that rips out those clot or whatever in the mindset of persons that free them to think straight it's like it's like a, a, a brainwashing to a certain extent one can be brainwashed because one has been programmed right if one has been programmed for years then one has got to be deprogrammed you know Many years ago, people used to get these program magazines and stuff like that as to what is happening on, on the television. And what it, tell, it tells about the TV programs. And those TV programs, people actually take them and they sit down and they watch television and they're programmed. Totally programmed. So it's time to deprogram. Time to have that winning mindset, that, that, that victim mindset, and moving away from the victim mindset, the oppressed mindset. Because, you know, sometimes they say when a person is in their deathbed, sometimes they, they come back out of it and it is like there's a, a fighting spirit in their mind, in their psyche, that propels them to survive. And it's like it is leading the way. So therefore, the mindset has got to be free. But some of the words that has been impregnated in our system, those words need to go and go like now. You don't wait around, just go. Ethnic minority, what's that? If you're a minority, you always be a minority. I kid you not. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining. And uh, as I said before, this is not the typical subject, which is, um, as they say, sexy. And it is challenging. And I have no problem to challenge the status quo. Okay? So thank you very much. And uh, look forward to seeing you again. Remember to like, subscribe, and share this video. Like and subscribe as well. And share the, the YouTube channel, Silburn TV, as well. And as much as possible, um, I'm hoping, to, as I said, I'll be getting those different persons to talk about the different organizations, what they're doing regarding knife crime as well. Um, as well, and um, I will be, and I want you to actually, we're going to showcase, just like on my red chair, 
showcase successful persons don't keep the same typical narrative which news media is creating to be as if that is it there's much more than Windrush there's much more than Stephen Lawrence and Macpherson Inquirer there's much more than a knife crime ladies and gentlemen I kid you not there is more success which is out there beyond Windrush in the black community there's more success out there beyond the Macpherson Inquirer there's more success out there beyond the knife crime there's much much more let's find them expose them change the narrative balance the book let's balance the books let's balance the book I thank you awesome power power in the word power in the tongue hey thank you Lyndon how are you buddy uh, those on Instagram land I'm just wrapping up now Natalie Grant welcome Audi Venice Margi, Colette, Valerie Taylor, thank you so much. Uh, Gillian, Ebanks, June, Elizabeth, Dion, Erica, Nordia, Paulette Love, Ravine, Pauline, Moral, Buddy, Tracy, Kimroy, Michael Mason, Princess, Steve, Dion, Lyndon, Love G, Laurelet, Mike Lawrence, and everyone that came on. I want to thank you so much. Lyndon, bless you, buddy. Uh, see you around some other time and peace out watch it on the replay and uh janice good evening i just got me on the end of it uh janice i always say that persons who came on the show like at the last bit they need to go on the naughty steps the naughty the, the, the stairs <laughs> you know and uh uh but but also the the, the whole thing regarding um What's your thoughts on um, Mr. Bill Cosby? Wow, that's that's so bad. That's so bad regarding Bill Cosby. You know what I mean? I was hoping that would have got off, but you know, that that's how that's how the game is played. You know what I mean? You know, and and Donald Trump coming to the UK. Who is gonna come along, or is gonna demonstrate? Well, what can I say? You know. So our best. So I'll see you around guys, all the best, thank you.